Hello everyone, this is Randy here again. Another episode of Farm and Simulator 2013. And we are playing more realistic on the Heron Hudson map. And we got our Amazon. Uh, I'm not even sure what it was exactly again. A big sprayer, let me put it that way. Let's go look. What was it again? Ah, Pantera. Amazon Pantera. Don't see anywhere where it actually says what it is on it, does it? Uh, okay. Other than it's an Amazon. Am Amazon. Okay, let's uh, unfold. I want to get away from the trees for this a little bit here. And then we fold out again. And then we fold out again. Yep, this is looking good. And yeah, being self-propelled like this is a lot easier to drive. Okay, we got it filled. We should be able to just turn it on and go. I believe this is actually the only field I have to spray, so... saying I'm going a little too fast. Uh, not much I can do. Well, no, I guess it's okay now. Nope, now it's going to pop up again. Not much I can do about that. I don't have no ES limiter on this uh, thing, so... Seems to be working fine, though. It doesn't seem to be skipping anything, so I'm not going to be too concerned about it until it starts doing that. And this is just a standard in-game piece of equipment, actually. It is a modded for the more realistic, but it is actually the in-game uh, sprayer. For those of you who are wondering about that. Yeah, when you down the, uh, download the more realistic, it comes with a pack of uh, equipment, and that is actually all the in-game equipment. Uh, there are a few miscellaneous odds and ends in there that are not. Uh, the corn... Heads for the combines. Uh, I think there's a sprayer and spreader as well. Uh, maybe a few other odds and ends I'm not sure about. But, uh, yeah, all the standard in-game equipment that's been modded for more realistic comes in there. And, no, I've still not solved uh, what my uh, leg problem over here is. I keep moving equipment away, you know, hoping, okay, is that, nope, nope. Nope, and nope. So, no idea what it is yet, other than maybe an actual building itself. Yeah, I gotta love the width on this and the self-propelled part. Makes it much easier. Actually, I could probably actually hire a worker for this too, maybe now. I know the uh, self propelled one, that didn't really work very well with that one. Only well, problem is you kind of waste a little bit doing that. Oh, we don't have much left, do we? I just happened to notice that. Okay. Maybe I better just fill up here. There's no way that's going to be enough to uh, cover that, I don't think. Assuming that back part goes down? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, mouse controls with that there. I probably actually, you know, real life, you probably should uh, lower that down. Generally speaking, keep it as close to the ground as you can, or at least as close to the crops as you can. Minimize amount, the amount of your spray loss. That just uh, blows away. Doesn't do a whole lot of good if your spray just blows away, so... Uh, 
That eh, should be good. Now that we basically don't have any money left, I can probably do. I don't think there's anything else we really have to do. Wasn't planning on planting any other fields. Still would like to get field 3 over here yet. That would be a nice field to have. And 28 as well. Some of these other fields, though, they're kind of close together. And yeah, harvesting these were not fun with the auto, auto combine. So I'm going to speed up time a little bit. Looks like the crops over here are just about ready. So put it on 30x or something. And we can start harvesting this episode. Great demand for canola. Uh, do I have any canola planted? That's a good question. Uh, canola, number two. I do have canola planted. and 17 and 9 I don't think are planted. Even though it says there's... Yeah, there's no nothing actually there. 23, though, is canola. Okay. 12 hours. And 25 is... Where's 25. Uh, 25. Oh, okay. That might not be a bad field to have there, actually. I uh, missed just a little bit there. Oh well, not the end of the world. And I think we'll park this, uh, where will we park it? We'll park it somewhere. I'm not going to park it over there. I've too many problems going on over there. I'm not sure exactly what yet, like I said, but... Oh, sure, why not? And the cow barn. There we go. Anything ripe yet? No, nothing ripe yet. Well, let's grab the combines then and get over there. Hopefully by the time we do that, uh, stuff will be ripe. And I've got four combines, so we should be able to do some serious combine and damage here. Uh, let's, uh, how long does that great demand last? Well, that's not much of a great demand. Well, yeah, maybe it is a better great demand than what I think it is. Hard to say. No, that's, yeah, that's not much of a great demand, is it? A uh, different location it might be, because 397, but it's 355 there, so... 11 hours remaining. What I should probably do is get some corn heads. I think the only corn head I have is for the 690, actually. Or no, the 680, actually. These ones actually come with corn heads. Not that I can afford them, mind you. Uh, the Massey does, and they're not too expensive. Okay, well, I'll probably have to get one for the Massey then. Six, now that's the one I have now. That is actually not the one for these, though. So, yeah, I don't think these two actually come with one. This 9770 and the 9610. This one here is actually for the 690. So what we'll probably have to do, I'll probably have to sell some of the canola first, and then we'll have enough money to purchase uh, cornhead for the Massey. 
Let's see what's Yeah, I guess I'll start this guy on this end too. Nothing ready yet? Nope. Well, hopefully this gets ready before the great demand ends. That would be kind of nice. Yeah, this combine is definitely no uh, speed demon here. Kind of slow. 96.10 Maximizer. Ooh, does that double our crops? Just like in uh, Minecraft, we got more doubling. We need uh, crop doubling here. Okay, want to turn that way. We'll go up and down the field as opposed to the normally. Let's see, can I drive through that? I can. Okay. Oh, it's ready. Okay, excellent. Didn't even see that hit uh, switch there. Okay, we'll hire you. Actually, I probably need to back you up a little more yet. There we go. Excellent. Oh, everything's ready now, like 18 and 27. Okay, that's good. Get this guy going as well. down the field. You'll be on this side of the field. Hopefully you'll stay there without any uh, problems. And what else do I got for combines? I got the 680 over here. That second view always uh, kind of throws me for a loop when I uh, get into this guy. Ditch there. You keep forgetting about the ditch. I just noticed I got some money for something, and I'm kind of curious what. I'm assuming it. I don't think it says. I'm just guessing it was from the pigs. Definitely don't think I would have got any milk money at this point. Let's, uh... Yeah, is there a way to check that? Not Well, I guess there is if I go to... Yeah, milk tank is... Whoa, there's a lot in the milk tank. That should bring in some uh, good money once it gets sold. Oh, that's all the farther you guys have gone yet? Let me show you folks how it's actually done. Well, actually... Maybe I should grab the 680. Kind of use this guy already. Let's grab the 680. This is the uh, big boss modding one. I would definitely have to say my all-time favorite combines. They look good, function fairly good. A uh, few... Uh, complaints on the, uh, the tracked one I've used in Northeast Iowa. And I used it in the Feldkirken map as well. I do have a few complaints about that one, namely the fact it doesn't uh, back up while going when it turns. So, yeah, when you turn that combine, it doesn't back up well for some reason. What was that? You know what? Let me grab this canola here. While well, since I'm going to be harvesting canola, I might as well.
be interesting too to see if this header and combine have the same problem the other combines do with it uh, getting caught in the ground. Like I say, that is probably the most annoying problem I have with this uh, more realistic. Okay, well that was maybe not worth it. Uh, 597, yeah, that's not much. Oh well. Oh, the other guys haven't even made it to the other end of the field yet. Oh, no, there's the one. Is the other one stuck in something? Oh, no, I guess he is moving. Okay, he's moving. Let's see, pick kind of a halfway spot here. Yeah, somewhere about in here looks good. Really? That's the width, huh? That uh, is not right. Just out of curiosity. Oh, no, that, that shows it's right. Okay. I wonder why the GPS mod doesn't get it right then. I believe it's 12.2 or something like that. Set it 12. That should be close enough. Let's see what's here. That, uh, yeah, that looks like it's fairly straight down the field. Actually, yeah, okay, it's got the same feature here as... I think that's on and off, if I remember correctly. Missing IC component, okay. Not sure what it does, and I'm not going to push it if I don't know. And yeah, this is the first time I've used this combine in more realistic, so I'm not sure how it's going to function or work. I've not tested it. Uh, you know, I figured it came from Big Boss Modding, so I have never had any problems or really issues with their mods yet, so I'm sure it's pretty uh, top tier, I would think. But uh, anyway, I was going to say, this uh, header in the non-realistic version kind of uh, hugs the ground, so that kind of concerns me, but... Seems like it's working okay, though, so the fact that it hugs the ground actually might be a good thing. It might actually raise and lower with the ground rather than just, uh, eh, get stuck. I don't know what's taking you boys so long over there. We're booking right along here. Okay, so you folks think I like uh, John Deere combines or what here? <laughs> uh, that's uh, three John Deere combines. Okay, might be a little bit of overkill. We'll get this harvest happening fast. And hopefully that uh, 690 corn head will fit on this combine. If it don't, that uh, that's going to put me down a couple combines, that's for sure. I probably won't bother trying it on those two. I'll just leave them be and get these, uh, this one and the Massey Ferguson going on the corn. And what is our problem? No idea, huh? We just be stupid here? Yeah, we just be stupid here. Okay. And car, you stay there.
Crap, it's even laggy when I look over that way. Don't look that way. Yeah, I really, really need to sort that out. I just, uh... Yeah, I'm not even sure what, uh... Like I say, I've been just driving vehicles away every time, and it's like, nope, and nope, and nope. You know, I've kind of been focusing on the newer vehicles I have, which, I you know, obviously the 680, the, uh, Massey Ferguson, which is... Where's the Massey Ferguson? Uh, he's over there somewhere. Oh, right there. Yeah, there he is. And then the other 9770 combine there. New Holland tractor. It's actually... Oh, well, and the Fent Tractor. Pretty much all the newest equipment I have. I don't think I have anything else that's really new. It's just popped up in the last uh, couple episodes here, so... really want to test this combine on a spot where the other combines I've got stuck on and just see what's what happens. And so far, no issues. He went right up over that hill, no problem. But then again, the other combines, uh, looks like they made it as well, so not the greatest of tests. Oh, he made it up on the road, though. That is actually, uh... Let's switch this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I was going to say, why isn't he coming up? I know the other combines will sometimes get stuck on the edge of the road there. The road is just a little bit higher, and that causes problems, so... That's definitely a good sign. Oh, well, we are going to get a little bit uh, stuck here, though, aren't we? Okay. I need to bump that width down just a tad. Eleven and a half, sure, why not? And just out of curiosity, I want to look a minute because I'm pretty sure it said twelve point two. I thought. Oh, which one? I got the six forty FD. Yeah, twelve point two. Okay, I was not imagining things. It is twelve point two. Uh, this combine, too, by the way, does have the manual raise and lower the header feature, so if I do have problems with it getting stuck, I should be able to use that to actually harvest with. Uh, I had a comment from somebody a while back pointing out that it is R and T, and it actually is listed here. I don't think it was listed on the other ones to uh, raise and lower that header. Which, uh, so, yeah, if you want to manually raise and lower it, it's R and T. Now, you're not supposed to use V if you raise and lower it manually, I don't believe. I believe it says that in the uh, readme or document or whatever you want to call it that comes with this combine. Oh, uh, the 9610 is almost full, isn't he? Okay. I just wonder what his... Uh... Oh, it's fill level 79,000. Okay. So we actually got that much in this combine almost. Uh, for those of you who didn't know, control and the question mark will change your uh, load status mod up there. Show percentages, show fill level, and then show percentages plus fill level. I believe that's what it uh, cycles through. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, you're not on auto steer. I must have bumped the keys for some reason. Okay, that's why he's missing something. He backs up eternally slow.
What is it up with uh, John Deere Combines backing up really slow anyway? At least the mods anyway. <coughs> That guy moving there, it does not look like he is. Uh, he stopped for some reason. Okay. What do you think it was? Break time or something? Come on now. Ain't no breaks around here. Now we almost got this field wrapped up already. Wow, that is some fast harvesting there. Of course, we got three combines. I think those are, what, 13 meter heads on there, I believe. Uh, supposedly a 12.2 on here. Like 11 points according to the GPS mod, but okay, what's your problem? You just plain stopped. Well, in that case, you get back to work. Yeah, ooh, that's interesting. Oh, okay, five puts the top on the uh, combine there. Okay. That's kind of a funny looking top. And it reminds me of, I think, is it, uh, was it Japanese or Chinese hats or whatever? That's kind of what it reminds me of there. Okay, let's grab a tipper. Uh, dee -dee -dee. There he is. Actually, seen one of these trucks on the road here today. Had the same uh, paint uh, scheme on it the red and uh, black and the red stripe down there. I take a shortcut through the pasture here. At least, hopefully, it'll be a shortcut. Let's see what's where is he? Ah, there he is. Patiently waiting, I hope. Oh, don't tell me you stopped again. What the world? Get back to work. Oh, you having trouble with the slipping? Interesting, interesting. So far, I have not had this issue with this combine, so that is a good sign, I think. There we go. I don't know if you folks caught that or not when it, you know, kind of hopped off the road there, the combine, the header kind of uh, floated up and down a little bit there, still uh, hugging the ground. That's pretty cool. Must be some uh, additional scripts or something on this head, I'd assume, that uh, allow it to do that. The uh, contour to the uh, height of the ground.
And he stopped again. Okay. Just plumb lazy today, that's what it is. Just plumb lazy, I'm guessing. Actually, what it probably is, he's probably going up that hill there and starting to have some trouble. Let's see if we can make it here. I think we will, no problem, if I had to guess. We're not even slowing down here, so... Of course, he's probably got a little bit more drastic of a hill there. Oh, we did slow down a little bit there. I'm just judging from the looks of it here, and that's uh, my initial opinion here from the uh, three passes I've made. I think we need uh, Big Boss modding to make us a few more more realistic combines. I mean, obviously I have to try it a few more times in a few more fields and a few more spots to know for sure that it doesn't uh, do the crazy stuff the other ones do. I mean, I, I can expect, I'm sure it'll do it a little bit here and there, but uh, as long as it doesn't do it to the extent the other ones do, I'll be much, much, much better. Okay, folks, I think we'll uh, call it an episode there. We're just about full here, so... Yeah, there we are, we're full, so... Folks, have any comments or questions? Be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching. Till next time.